When do you figure? Oh, a couple of hours. Oh. About 2 or 2.30? Two About 3, at the latest. Hey, where's a good place to have lunch? Down the street a couple of blocks would be right, Martha. Thanks. Well, we have three hours to kill. The question is, do we kill it or uh, does it kill us? How much to run this? Half a page. Tomorrow's paper, Mr. Palmer. Who are you? Miriam's friend. Miriam Moore? Miriam's dead. Dead and buried. Yes or no? Half a page, huh? Well, there's one thing sure. If you're going to stay around here for this... this event that you want to advertise, you sure can't stay around here with that mask on. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Because you scare people, that's why not. Come look outside, Mr. Palmer. Make them take off their masks, and I'll take off mine. How much, please? The businessman's lunch. Do you get all of this for a dollar nineteen? Here she comes. I almost dropped my tray the first time she went by. Or, uh, you just get the soup and the salad and the entree. You mean she's not a real red-blooded uh, Kilkenian? Is that what you say? Well, I never heard anyone call us Kilkenians before. Uh, you get the uh, soup and the salad and the fruit cocktail and the entree and two vegetables and uh, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, for $1.19. <laughs> anyway, she's not from here. Hey, uh, when is Halloween? Isn't it later on in the year when the pumpkins pop? Like about six months from now. Why do you suppose a girl would walk around wearing a kooky mask like that? Oh, no. Can't you leave one tornado for the Weather Bureau? Keep the soup warm. Carry your bag? <laughs> Halloween? Yeah. The circus just left town, boys. Cut out, okay? I don't need your help. Uh, come on, uh, Rosie. <laughs> what do you think we're paying you for? Keep uh, circulating and show off the mask. Uh, walk it up uh, big and scare the people. Uh, it's a publicity stunt for a new picture coming into town called the uh, 
teenage ghoul from Fujiyama. <laughs> Hope you see it, fellas. It's a great little show. Oh. <laughs> Well, did you tell her a name like that? Isn't about to fool anybody. You did, huh? And she said, is there any local ordinance against girls being named Jane Doe or against wearing masks? She asked that. Well, OK, OK. She said, what she's doing in Kilkenny. Well, she's sure shooting at tell you how long she's going to stay. As long as it takes, huh? Paid through tomorrow night. Check her. New bills. Well, she goes out, you call me. Good up. All right, now. Quiet. Uh, Tommy, three witnesses said you struck the first blow. Miss Thomas was standing not ten feet away, and she said she distinctly heard this young fellow. Real Curtis, she said he was. No need to start a ruckus. He's just telling me about some new movie. Well, that's right, the uh, teenage ghoul from Fujiyama. Fujiyama. It's, uh, the only Japanese picture ever made entirely in the USA. And you just haul off in Belgium. And you had to toss one at Tommy. Now, if anybody's going to get locked up, it's you and Tommy. Unless uh, everybody wants to shake hands and forget the whole thing. Now, Jim, don't say I'm disturbing the peace or inciting to ride if I run this ad. I've already given them my word, and I've taken the money. So this ad runs tomorrow. I don't care what you say. The trouble with you is, Jess, you just can't figure out any more crusades. Not since we put that storm drain in on Franklin Avenue. Now, I just, well, I want to look at it, that's all. See what she's up to. Get that, Les. Sheriff's office, Burns. Yeah? Well, yeah, thanks. I'll tell him. Just left the inn. Walking west on Maple, Pete says. Jan? Yes, sir. Get over to Maple Street. She's walking west. All right, Miss Cronmiller. We're on our way to pick her up now. I didn't say arrest her. Just watch her. All right, boys. Well? Nothing personal, fella. I just run out of guys to hit. See, around here, I, uh, I don't hit all the guys. To give cats scratching posts, you ought to get yourself one. You going to shake Tommy's hand? I don't even know him. Well, you hit him. Well, that's because uh, I haven't run out of guys to hit, you know? I mean, around here, I already haven't hit all the guys, like old Tom Tom. How long do you figure, Tom Tom, it would take, I mean, uh, to hit all the guys? Come on, now stop it! Sheriff's Office, Burns speaking. Yeah, I'll tell him. Martha says to tell you they stopped serving the businessman's lunch at one. That's ten minutes. Why don't you shake hands with this Neanderthal and we'll get out of here? I was not ready till three. Okay, don't shake his hand. But one peep out of any of you, in you go, the whole crowd. Let me see that ad, Jase. Let me see it. Okay, get out. A commemorative ceremony for Miriam Moore. Why? She didn't say. You're all invited to a commemorative ceremony for Miriam Moore this morning at 10 o'clock, 4220 West Maple Street. That makes it tomorrow morning, in front of Lydia Manning's house. What kind of torch is that for poor Lydia? Go on, I said, get out of here. Go on.